a lot of so scenes. So let me in, ask you this then: What's the reason for the uh, would you call it the establishing shot, or like when they're they're traveling to they're they're off the plane, they're in the car, they're on their way to basically the primary set of the film, which is this you know whatever you want to call that land of the cult. And and they're they're driving and you're getting the driving shot and it's basically again from kind of like a drone shot almost yeah. and then it flips and the car is in the sky now yes from you know where you're looking what's the point of that other than to just disorient and be like hey like something is fucking not right and something's different like what's the point of that or is it simply just like it's fucking weird and the whole movie's weird so like it's just something to kind of throw you off a bit well i don't think anything is just weird for the point of being weird sure uh in this movie i think everything even like the hyper violence kind of has a point to it mm -hmm. uh that particular shot i didn't really like i thought the that car? we could have i thought we could have done without it here's I see i kind of liked it i don't know why though here's what i see with this shot you feel like the first couple of scenes when we're in the sexual secular world and the sexual world and, and this uh, the rest of the movie in the harga village it almost feels like it's on two different planets yeah and you feel like we're traveling in like sky Hmm. to somewhere else or like the world has flipped we're on a new world now sure and in just the way everything looks uh just comparing the two different worlds the horga village everything's super bright it like weirdly seems to be daytime all the time well it's north sweden right. but in the even the scenes that take place kind of at night feel like there's light to them. And it's okay, always just like there this. Is, right? this is there very, ever a time when it's there, ju just the one where she's having the dream where yeah, they're in the car? Is really the only scene that takes That's place at dark. dark yeah. And then the beginning, it's like feels like it's almost exclusively at dark. Of even when. Or just it's, the color is just yeah. like sucked out of like uh, it's. Even yeah. the scenes when it's during the day, like they'll be in a room and none of the lights are on. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I feel like that dark. shot, it kind of lets you know that we're on a, we're in an entirely different planet right now. Yeah. No, um, I, I, that was my, just quite, my question was like, what's the, that's yeah. what I assumed, you know yeah. what I mean? But I just wanted to get your take on it. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't like that shot very much. Mm. I thought that it calls too much attention to itself. I thought it went on for too long. Uh, yeah. If you wanted to do a flip and kind of do that and have it, you you could do it for just like a very short period. I felt driving like. driving scenes I find are are kind of interesting. The choices we'd have to go back and really look at it, but one one that comes to mind is The Shining. Um, yeah, when they're going through, right. yes, yes, yeah. So I mean, it's just that that's always just kind of interesting. Well, I think kind of The Shining starts out with that because this place the. Uh, the hotel is just so isolated. So I think right. having just the credits with like, this is a very long drive of like, we are in the n middle of nowhere. And it starts mm -hmm. the movie of like that, uh, you know, the credits are going by, so you don't have to worry about like the audience getting bored or anything. Right. And you can have this kind of long driving scene where like, we're really getting into the mountains and like, we are far away from society. Mm -hmm. Also, and uh, you could obviously correct me if I'm wrong here, but I, I have heard that in the seventies and eighties, like, there was more leeway to like have longer shots. 100%. Yeah. So I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so with longer, with longer shots, they did it more in the seventies because they were shooting, uh, on film instead of digital. So you couldn't have as many shots. Um, no, okay. So it's literally <laughs> just a practical thing. No, but also if, if you look at high budget, and low budget movies, okay. high budget movie or more mainstream movies usually have a lot of more cuts. Okay. And I feel like a lot of it is like if 
producers feel like a shot has gone on for too long. People are going to zone People out. People are going to zone out, so they want to cut as much as possible. With yeah. lower budget movies where they allow like more creative freedom, like A24, yeah. you can have very long shots. Um, I mean, Uncut Gems is a bad example because <laughs> you're trying because they're Christ. cutting every five <laughs> seconds because they want that kind of uh, sense of anxiety. Yeah, do it. So, all right, one more point. So, since I feel like we're kind of getting to the end of this, yeah. w- uh, back to the anthropology angle mm-hmm. of they kind of do not uh, see the danger coming because they they feel like they're viewing these people almost like through a plate of glass. Like yeah. we're over here that's and you're a, over that's there. That's a good way of putting it. And for sure. Before and after the scene where the two older Horga uh, villagers kill themselves. One, you feel like William, William Jackson Harper, he says to Pella, um, are, the, are those the two? It's just one line that he says to Pella. So like you can kind of feel that like he knew this was going to happen and didn't do anything to like prevent it because he doesn't really view them as people. I didn't catch that. Yeah, he says that one line. He looks at the are old, those the, the two meaning the the two older oh, bef- people who are going to before, but, but he happened. still freaks out when it happens. Well, he kind of is shocked, but yeah, he you kind of got the that. sense that you knew that was coming, and you see like the two other friends of the other uh, Horga villager who the uh, the people from England who came of they're freaking out and they're trying to stop it and they're trying to yell at the person like you don't have to do this stop stop and the anthropologists uh, are kind of just watching and waiting to see what happens wait say that again who's who's trying to stop it the the couple that's from England oh yeah they're yelling at the person and they're trying to say, you don't have to do this. While Christian and I forget William Jackson Harper's character's name, but uh, they're both watching it, kind of just waiting to see what's going to happen. Like, yeah. Uh, and then the two people kill themselves. And I didn't like the, those fucking British people. Not because they're British. Shout out to England. Shout Florence, out to my, my Florence boy Sam. Pugh is English and she's. Uh, Who's that? Florence Pugh is Danny. The is, main character is English? Is English. Super English. If you've ever seen her in her... Right. Shout out to her, man. She's, I had no idea. I thought she was American. She's super... She's like she's like meat pie and jam English. <laughs> she's like real English. All right. Um, I mean, if you're going to, you know, if you're going to do it, do it for real. I don't know what that means. Um, but, okay, whatever. I mean, again, I just didn't like those two <laughs> characters. They were just like dillweeds. The scene directly after is What's a dillweed? <laughs> I've never fucking used that expression in my life. Dillweed is what you use to make pickles. Shout out to dillweed. <laughs> That's why they call it a dill pickle. Shout out to dill pickles. You use British people. <laughs> Shout out to British people. Um, <laughs> you should wrap this thing up. All right. This, this, is, this is my final. Yeah. This right. is the break, one last thing that I wanted to say. So the scene right after the two older Horga uh, villagers kill themselves is the scene where Christian says, "I want to do my yeah. uh, thesis on these people," and it's you, you talk about like scene placement of just you, you're getting further into these characters do not view the. Uh, villagers as human beings just as subjects to study of like two people just died in front of them and that's what they're arguing about yeah um yeah again i just hate that guy that guy sucks he does Um, suck the mclovin character when he pisses on the tree that was kind of funny but also like he he I got to give it to that actor, too, because he really portrayed, like, Will the, Porter. the dumb yeah. American, like, really well. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know. I just, like, I I get really, like, ugh, like, I don't want people to view Americans as dumb, even though, like, okay. we, we do a great job of, like, presenting ourselves that way. We do. Um, <laughs> Shout um, out to America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely.